All right, so something really, really big just happened, and I'm honestly, I'm just in disbelief right now because I really didn't think anything like this was going to happen, at least for some time. But basically, if you guys haven't heard already, I mean, you probably have. Like, it's just honestly everywhere on YouTube right now just about this. So, acquisition of Kingzell Entertainment Inc. Basically, this group called MGI Media and Games Invest Group bought Kingzell for $126 million plus, like, whatever revenue the game makes in 2021, like, will add on to that somewhat depending on how much they make. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, they bought Kingzell for a huge sum of money and this is really really big news because it is going to pretty much change all the games forever i mean i guess just both games right and i'll talk about that but this is honestly just i'm just god dude i think this is like amazing news i really really do because i feel like the way king's isle was going just like the direction they were taking Wiz, and of course the absolute no direction that they were taking Pirate, you know, they just weren't taking it anywhere, was just not really good, and as Blaze mentioned in his vid, was definitely not sustainable, probably not, for their plans just going into the future. I know they mentioned something like, oh, many, many more decaversaries to come. Yeah, probably not with the way they were going. But now, I mean, I'm not... Okay, let's not get into decaversaries, but now, though... Now that they've been bought by another company, I think things are going to change. I really, really do. Now, what's awesome about this company is it seems like they are very, very passionate. Right, I feel like they're very, very passionate, at least it seems like that to me, about, you know, acquiring this company and trying to make as much revenue as possible off of it. Like, Wizard 101, the Harry Potter of online games. Like, th this is definitely a big deal to them, just as much as it is to us. So I think that's really, really cool. It shows that they actually want to do something with the game. That makes me really, really happy. Another thing worth noting is, so of course they've got like their little, they've got a little <laughs> logo right here. They got the, you know, Wizard 101, Pirate 101, King's Owl. I think something, you know, I guess this isn't really like, what would I call this? I don't know. They got their screen here, okay? And Pirate 101's on the screen. All right, Pirate 101 is on the screen which means <laughs> which means i don't want to get too ahead of myself here but i think there is a good chance i think there's a good chance i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna say for sure yet but there's a good chance that pirate might actually be getting content again and that this company might move forward to continue obviously they're going to continue Wiz because they've been just noting how much how successful Wiz is and how much money King's L has actually made off Wiz it's actually quite a bit so obviously they're going to be continuing with Wiz but the fact that they did include a pirate on the screen I think is a really really good sign I know Fairy Queen's mentioned in her video that you know like one of three things could happen either they're going to like update pirate or like they're not going to do anything to it or they'll just shut it down for good to only focus on Wiz we know for sure now I mean, most likely, like, like I said, we know, I guess we know nothing, but we probably know that it's not going to get shut down. And just the fact that they did include it, though, means they're probably not going to get rid of it. And I think there's a decent chance that Pyro 101 might actually get some content. So I'm really, really optimistic about that. That makes me really, really happy. I mean, just after so long, just after four or five years without a real update, I mean, Pirate really really deserves one and i think this is the best chance we're going to get with me and games invest group acquiring king's isle so that is just that's just fucking awesome dude oh my god i'm actually so so happy about this i really think that this company is going to take both of these games in a good direction or i know that at least they're going to try they're definitely going to try because no one acquires a company for 126 million just to do nothing with it okay that's not that's not how business works they're just going to you know and you know it <laughs> There could be, they could just milk the players, like, once again. It's always a possibility, you know, kind of the same thing King's was doing. Maybe even on a larger scale, if I'm being super-duper pessimistic, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen here. At least, I, I'm not looking for that to happen. But I really do think that this is a good thing. I really think this is a good thing, and... Oh my god, dude. I think this means good things for both Wizard 101 and Pirate 101. Now, another thing I wanted to note here, so if we go to Yahoo Finance here... So take a look at the little text here, carve out of mobile business, not related to Wizard 101 and Pirate 101. Basically what that means is they are getting rid of the mobile department, dude. Like, oh, fuck yes. This has been a long time coming. I'm sorry. Like, KI, 
K-I, K-I, K-I. <sighs> this was kind of your biggest fuck up, I feel like. Carve out of mobile business. Like, that just makes me so happy to see. So if you guys don't know, I don't know, about five years ago or something, KI just decided to allocate a lot of their resources into developing mobile games. And, you know, the problem with that was obviously the mobile games didn't do well and nothing really came of them ever. So all, the, all their mobile games flopped, right? But the thing is, they had two perfectly good babies, two perfectly good children, Wizard 101 and Pirate 101, both great games that they could have just stuck to, right? That they could have just stuck to. I honestly think, I mean, God, it was definitely a risk that they took, but like after the first mobile game failed, I mean, they should have just, they should have just shut that down, seriously. But this company now is finally doing that. They recognize that this is not a good allotment of their resources, so... They're just ripping it out, dude. No more no more mobile game development, which is awesome because that is definitely one of the reasons why Pirate didn't get, you know, or at least they, they quit on Pirate in the first place and stopped giving it updates. This was definitely one of the reasons. There could have been more stuff that gone into that had gone into it, but I think this was one of the biggest ones was they started to develop mobile games instead of focusing on their already really, really great game that they already had. It, it didn't make sense, really, as to why they were doing this. But MGI, one of the reasons why I, de I definitely trust them a little bit more than KI right now is because they are just getting rid of it. They're getting rid of it, which means more resources are going to go into these two games, these two actually good games that have a lot, a lot of potential. And yeah, that's the thing. They see a lot, a lot of potential in both of these games. That's why I'm pretty optimistic here. I'm pretty optimistic here. I think overall this is going to be a really, really good thing for both games. All right, so now, I mean, will all those extra resources that were used in the mobile games department now go to pirate? I mean, there's no way to say for sure. But I think if, you know, all you pirates out there were hoping for a pirate update, I think this is the best chance that you're gonna get i i really do i'm not sure if this was related at all to you know that whole that whole week of pirate 101 streaming or anything i mean it probably isn't i think this was kind of just a stroke of luck but i mean dang i'll take it you know i'll i'll take it like this is if this is like the only way for my two babies to be updated consistently like i am all for it dude i am all for it but thank god just once again they got rid of the stupid mobile department i mean jesus dude like <laughs> It doesn't take a fucking brainiac to see, you know, when something just fucking flops, you know? And, you know, <laughs> when you're just wasting your time on projects that are most likely not going to give you a very good return, right? <sighs> Anyways, though, I am really, really happy that this happened. I honestly didn't think that, I mean, I mean, one of two things was going to happen in my mind. I mean, either they were going to get bought out eventually, right? But then, like... A part of me was like, well, who would buy out a company, right, that's already, like, been going on for 12 or 13 years, however long the game has been out. But, I mean, it happened. You know, this company, uh, which is, like, honestly a really, really big company, I know they've got, like, they have, like, a ton of assets, I'm pretty sure. Like, like they're the real deal, basically. I didn't really think that, I honestly didn't think this would happen. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I, I felt pretty pessimistic about this. Yeah, dude, but it happened, it happened. Some big company recognized the potential of these two games, so I gotta thank you, MGI. You could definitely ruin these games forever, or you could make them really, really good. I'm not sure, but I am definitely optimistic. Just the way that the games were going before, I just don't think was really, really good for, you know, either of the games' survivability in the long run, so I'm really, really glad this happened. So I guess we'll see what comes out of this. I'm pretty happy though. Overall, I'm pretty, pretty happy. I think this is a really good thing, and I think this is definitely going to make our dreams come true of these games just continuing just for, for a very, very long time to come. So anyways, that was, that's just, that's big news, dude. That's, that's really, really big news. <sighs> anyways, though, that's going to be all from me, everybody. I mean, yeah, that's really all I got to say about this is I'm just pretty happy about this. I am really, really optimistic. I really, really am because pirates, pirate might actually get some love, dude, and it deserves it. And then Wiz is obviously going to get a lot of love too because that, I mean, like I said, they did recognize that Wiz was definitely the more successful one, but they got rid of the mobile department, which is a really, really good sign. Anyways, that's going to be all for me, or they're going to get rid of the mobile department. Anyways, I don't know when like they're all going to be settled in and everything and when the changes are actually going to take place, but it's going to be sometime soon. 
because you know now that this has occurred anyways though you get my point that's gonna be all for me everybody if you guys enjoyed this video you could always leave a like or subscribe if you're looking forward to more future content on this channel i post vids you know pretty much like every other day or something so hey why not subscribe anyways though i'll see you guys in the next video or stream whatever that may be so take care enjoy the rest of your day and peace out